Time to play with some clay. Well, if you remember correctly, I did this piece of these horses stampeding oh, some months ago. And I liked the way it turned out, but I'm going to do a grouping of horses and riders. Uh, and I'm thinking of doing maybe this horse, this horse, and that horse in the behind here in that grouping. Do three horses and three riders, and uh, I'll. I think I'm going to have two warriors on these two horses here, and a warrior on this horse. But this warrior, I may change the direction of this horse a little bit, but uh, have these two enemy and these this guy running away from them and call it outnumbered. I don't know, that's what I was thinking. I was watching a video earlier today um, on YouTube from a, a program called Timeline and it was in search of uh, Shangri-La and this gentleman from Australia, this reporter, is traveling through the Kush of uh, Pakistan and uh, going up into the mountains and visiting tribes up there of people who basically are untouched. Uh, some of them have been slaughtered by the Muslim population uh, neighboring them and uh, I think one group was 80,000 in numbers at one time and now they're down to 2,500 people because they would not switch to Islam. And they were Buddhists, I believe. <coughs> and, uh, but anyway, there was a game that they played on horseback that goes back thousands of years, uh, almost back to the beginning of uh, Central Asia. And, uh, it's where they have a headless uh, goat laying on the ground and they all get on the, their horses and they're running towards this goat uh, on the ground and one of them picks it up and they all fight each other trying to get that goat away from each other. And uh, whoever drops it in their circle breaks away from the group trying to get their goat uh, whoever drops it in a circle wins the, that that team. Anyway, I just thought it was interesting to watch uh, that interaction between the riders and the horses, and I thought I'd try doing something uh, as far as uh, a horse goes, or a horse grouping goes. I haven't done a real action piece. This is the last action piece I did. And I need to do another one because I get, I'm get i getting tired of doing st static uh, figures. Anyway, I I'm, I'm, was thinking about doing them this size, but I think I'm going to do them more of this size. And what I've got to do is find my baling wire. I still don't know which box it's in. I found this little bit of baling wire, but that, that ain't going to do it. And so I'm going to try to find that, and uh, my clay is getting soft. I just don't know if I'll have time to do it today because i got to look through boxes and try to find even my tools. I haven't found all my tools yet. I've spent several days hunting for uh, the light to soften my clay, and uh, I'm going to have to search now for my tools.
I've got a few tools, but uh, not uh, all the tools I need. Well, I found some of my stuff, but I can't find my tools or the wire. I did find some of the baling wire that I had uh, twisted into a strong armature, but I don't know if I've got enough for the uh, three horses out of this. I found some copper wire that might be thin enough for the legs. I don't know. Um, I think what I'm going to have to do is go to True Value tomorrow and get a roll of baling wire because I can't find the baling wire I had. And I can't find 90% of my damn tools. Those tools on the, the uh, two magnetic bars are about all I've been able to find. There are a few down here, but not enough. And uh, i got a couple tools there, but I've got a ton of tools that I can't find. Oh, there's a few in this uh, cup here, but that's not the majority of my tools. And I still can't find that damn baling wire. So, look underneath here. Not in there. Anyway, I don't know where the hell they could be. They're probably just going to be in one of these boxes, and I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to continue looking and uh, tonight, and uh, I'll come back hopefully tomorrow. Well, I don't know. Tomorrow's Saturday. Tonight is supposed to be uh, the art walk in Ennis, and I don't know if I'm supposed to be at the gallery tonight or not. But uh, anyway, it's just exasperating. I hate moving for that reason. Um, I try to be organized at first, but then... It gets hectic because each day that I was in that house, I was being charged for occupancy and uh, paying rent here as well. So I had to get my butt out of there. And so we sort of quickly threw things into boxes. And whenever you do that, you run into problems later on. So that's what I got to do is uh, look for my stuff and uh, hopefully get back to sculpting next week sometime. But anyway, that gives you the idea of what I'm thinking of doing on my next project, and uh, I'll end this video for the weekend and call it quits for tonight, except for the fact that I may be looking down here for quite a while. Good night, everybody, and I hope the weekend is going to be a great weekend for you. It's going to be a searching weekend for me. <laughs> Good night. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.